Hi everybody, it is me, Tyra, AKA Sticky, and it is a sticky situation. I'm back. I'm a day late and a dollar short, but I'm back. I wasn't gonna let too long go before I came back and did a video, but before we get anything started, let me have you hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, right? So that you are notified when I do upload a new video. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for coming on this journey to me. We are making progress, y'all, towards my first thousand. I get a little irritated with myself because I could have had a thousand subscribers over that a long time ago if I did not procrastinate. But that is a different video that is coming up, so stay tuned for it. As always, the beginning of these videos, I show you guys my nail of the moment. Today, we have this little ditty bop here. These are press-ons. They are press-ons. Of course, I can't just do press-ons and just leave them like this. You know, I'm gonna have to change it up. So I got them from the Dollar Tree. If you have not watched that video where I show some things that I'm currently loving, where I talk about my press-ons that I've been able to get from the Dollar Tree, please check it out. I'll put a card up below or up top. But these are the nails. This is how they came. Just a plane right there. And what I decided to do was I added the little white dot there. And then I took my Maniology Wild Heart stamp and I just chose that particular stamp there and stamped my nails, put a gel top coat, called it good. Took me all of maybe 30 minutes and that's with the stamping and all that because I'm a perfectionist. But that is currently my nail of the moment. I love it, it's a coffin shape, not too long. Cost me all of a dollar, well, two dollars because I got two packs of them because I wanted to make sure I had enough just in case I messed up. So, two fifty because now the Dollar Tree ain't the Dollar Tree no more, it's a dollar twenty five tree. But that's neither here nor there. Today's video, good people, my long awaited skincare routine and what I have been using to clear up my adult acne and also how I get glowy, beautiful skin over the age of 40. If you are interested in finding out my secrets, please stay tuned to the video. Hello everybody, it is me, Tyra, AKA Sticky, and it is a sticky situation. Thank you for joining me today. Finally, it's gonna happen. I am making a video about how I've been able to clear up my adult acne and keep it off, and also how I get such glowy, even skin without any makeup or anything like that. Today, I do have on concealer under my eyes and whatnot, and I have on bronzer and all of that, but generally there's no foundation on my face right now. There is none. It is concealer under my eyes, powder, bronzer, and of course I have on lashes, which I wanted to tell you guys, remember in that video that I put the card at the beginning, if you saw the intro clip, um, these are the lashes that that I get from the Dollar Tree and I love them. They had them so I snagged up all they had and it is the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes in the Natural Light Doll. I think they are just so pretty. Just natural looking. I love them. Dollar 25 to Dollar Tree. Nonetheless, we're gonna talk about my skincare. Um, I get asked all the time, literally all the time. I just got off the phone with my sister and she asked also like, okay, what do you do to your skin? You know, why does it, how is it so clear? And she wanted some tips and tricks on what to do. Really, to be honest with you guys, my routine is so simple. I've said that in a previous video, like it is so simple and as natural as I can make it be. And 
is not a lot of products because I don't think it's necessary. But back in probably, to give you a little backstory and context of how I got to this point, back in probably, you know, even as a child, I had acne. It was mainly my forehead and my chin is where I would get the acne. And it was rough. You know, it wasn't terrible, but it was bad enough because I have hyperpigmentation also. So I would have the dark spots to go along with it. So, but about college and early adulthood, it kind of cleared up for the most part. I would get acne, you know, get pimples here and there around my period, which is completely natural because there's hormones. But then about, I would say five years ago, all of a sudden I was getting the worst, actually longer than five years ago. This was probably like eight years ago. I was getting the worst acne along my chin, all here. And you guys saw the thumbnail all along here. It would just be like those pimples that don't come to a head, just those under, but they would be on top of each other, all right here. And in my research, I did discover that it's hormonal. And in hindsight, that literally makes a lot, a lot of sense um, because my body was going through so many changes at the time. Um, and things that you eat and things of that nature. I wasn't aware that I had a gluten and a dairy sensitivity at the time. So those things, my body was just literally inflamed and it was coming out on my face along with other things. So um, it wasn't gonna work for me. I was gonna have to do something about that. And so me being me, I always I research, I'm a scientist at the end of the day, so I researched what to do about it, what was going on. The first thing I always look at dietary. Um, what am I putting in my body? So that's how I discover, you know, about gluten and things of that nature. And so I eliminated all of that stuff. I eliminated it from my body, sugars, anything processed, I just took it out. And that made a difference. That made a difference of allowing the inside to detox and all of that come out but before it got better it got worse it got really 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 bad like oh god it was just terrible along with when i would think something was healing a new one would pop up and that one was getting dark the one that was healing it was just all bad but what i learned during that period was just to allow it and not pick at my skin and things of that and just to work on healing it so after working on the inside, I had to start trying to work on the outside. So one thing, the first thing that I implemented, um, and I just forgot something, hold on. Okay, thank you for waiting. I forgot my cleanser. So what I started doing is I came up with a routine that I still stick with to this day. My routine does not deter at all it stays the same i found a cleanser that really works for me and i go between it this one is the off brand of it is the walmart um dupe for the cetaphil gentle skin cleanser sometimes the cetaphil isn't there for whatever reason so i will get the walmart version of it and Walgreens has a version that I use that's also a dupe. So I use this. I wash my face every night in the shower with this. Every single night with this set of fill, no matter vacation, whatever. And real quick, no matter what, if I have on makeup, I do not sleep in my makeup. That comes off and that's a whole nother, I have a video of showing how I remove my makeup that I'll put somewhere up here so you can see it. But do not sleep in your makeup, ladies, and make sure you get it off. So I wash my face every night with this, followed by those wipes that I told you guys about. My Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wipes with Tea Tree Oil and Calendula for oily blemish prone skin. This, this right here. I already raved about it in the previous video. 
before this one so you guys know i had ran out walgreens currently has a sale if i'm not mistaken they have a sale buy two get one free of course i bought every single pack that was there because i do not want to run out of these so every night i wash my face with this and i use this that's what i use at night and that was that's my washing routine nothing else nothing else on my face now as i was going through and i had all of this going on just my chin i was not getting it anywhere else it was literally just my chin where i was getting the acne what worked for me in conjunction with those two products is you're not going to believe it it's going to be a lemon i will use a lemon honey and baking soda which i forgot to grab yeah i had everything mapped out but i forgot my baking soda but you guys know what baking soda looks like honey lemon and baking soda and you're asking yourself tyra how does how does honey lemon and baking soda clear up acne well for one lemon is antibacterial so all the bacteria it removes and it is a brightening it is a natural skin brightener so it brightens my skin so all of the hyperpigmentation that i had it brightened my skin so that's where i get that glowiness that's what the lemon was for honey honey is antibacterial also it has antibacterial components it's a wonderful natural moisturizer. So there was my moisturizer right there. That's what the honey was for. And the baking soda balances pH, antibacterial, all of that same thing. And it's also an exfoliating. So I was getting all of that dead skin and that ugh out of my pores with that. And I would use those three things together. A lot of times I would cut the lemon in half have that half, I would squeeze it so the juice would come up. Then I would pour honey on it. And then I would stick it in some baking soda, like stick it where it was covered. So that half was there. And then I would rub that all over my face, all over, all over, get it everywhere, all over. And I would let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. If I was being real lazy, I may take the lemon, rub it over, put the honey on, then slab the baking soda on my face as well however you do it it worked for me or you can make a paste i didn't feel like doing all of that um let it sit for 10 15 minutes or i would get in the shower do my shower and this whole time is like dripping off of me but it was okay and by the time i always wash my face last so then when it was time to wash my face i used my cleanser and then i used my wipes and this is what i have this is what i have now, as far as when I get up in the morning, after brushing my teeth, the only thing that I use on my face to cleanse it in the morning is water. Just water. Just water. I just wash my face with water. I haven't been doing anything. I'm asleep. There's no need of putting all of this extra in over washing my face and therefore drying it out, causing it to produce more oil, which is gonna cause it to produce more acne. Just water, just water. That's all I use to cleanse my face, warm water, and then I moisturize. And you guys know my moisturizer. It is the L Holy Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptic Complex. I swear by it, I'm almost out. I have to get some more. Can you guys see that? It's too bright, my lights. Anyway, it is almost empty in there. This is what I use for moisturizer every day. And along with ladies, especially my sisters, with our melanin skin, we may not think we need it, but we need it. I also use sunscreen. I use the Super Goop Play version. Good stuff. It doesn't get that white cast. Um, there's other ones that... Miss um, 
Angela had mentioned there's other ones for darker skin because nobody has time for that white cast over. But this is really good and it does not make my skin look oily, which I appreciate. I like the super goop, goop excuse me. I got this off of Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. And that y'all is my skincare routine along with diet and drinking water. Like I drink water all the time. This is my Golden Girls Cup that my Miss Teresa has. I love it, my tumbler. But I drink water all day, every day. Um, genetics do play a role in this. There's, there's no doubt about it. Genetics do play a role, so you do have to be mindful of that. And I just, I'm consistent. I do this every night. Consistency is the key. So whatever routine you come up with, and it is trial and error, whatever you come up with and you find something that works for you, stick with it. That is my recommendation. My secrets weren't really a secret. It's just what has worked for me all of this time. So if you guys have any questions, I will make sure, or excuse me, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, Tyra Fitch Show file. Um, and I'll make sure to try to link everything down below for you guys if you're interested in getting the products along with those nails from the Dollar Tree or check out your local Dollar Tree. Um, this is good people. This is a short one. I wasn't going to dilly dally too much with it. So hit that like button, the subscribe button, comment, let me know what's up with you. And I have other videos coming up. So if you see this face, these nails, this outfit, you know the reason why. Yeah, share this with someone that it may resonate with. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.